Good morning. Uh, today we are going to be reviewing for chapter 7. Remember that we you want to be able to be able to you want to be able to work out the problems first, then come back to the website and watch the video. Uh, it is very important to try to work them out by yourself first. Let's go and start with problem number one. On problem number one, it says evaluate. So we need to be able to evaluate, we need to come up with a number, the logarithmic expression. There are two ways that you can think about this problem. We're dealing with logs, you can think about 5 to what exponent is going to be 125. So 5 to what exponent is 125, so 5 to the power of 3, because 5 times 5 is 25 times 5 is 125. Or you can rewrite the, the 125 as 5 to what exponent is 125? 5 to the third. Then because they're inverses of each other, they cancel each other, therefore you end up with a 3. The same process for this problem. You can think of 2 to what exponent is 16? 2 to what exponent is 16? 2 to the power of 4. But 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. Or, if you want to do it the other way, you can rewrite the 16 as 2 to the power of 4 is 16, that will cancel out, so you end up with a 4. Either way you do it, it's fine. On problem number 2, they are asking you to approximate the value of log 12. Approximate the value of log 12. They are giving you the following information. They tell you that the log of 3 is equal to 0 .47, 0 0.477 and they tell you that the log of 2 is 0 0.301 remember if there's no number underneath automatically there's a little 10 the base is 10 if it's not written there therefore they tell you that 10 to the power of 0 0.4 Seven seven is equal to three, and they also tell you that ten to the power of point three zero one is equal to two. You want to be able to find out ten to what exponent is twelve. We know that ten to the first power we know that ten to the first power is equal to ten, and ten to the second power is equal to one hundred. So your answer has to be between 1 and 2, much closer to 1. But let's go and work it out. So we're going to do the factor 3 for the 12. We have 4 times 3, and the 4 will be 2 and 2. Therefore, we're going to rewrite the log of 12 as... Instead of the 12, we're going to replace it with 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3. 2, 2, 3. Now we're going to use the properties of expansion, the properties of logs, that can tell us that we can expand and rewrite as log, log, and log. Remember, we have three components in here, so we're writing down three logs. The first one will be with a 2. The second one will be with a 2, the next one will be with a 3. And since they are multiplying, we are going to be adding. Now we're going to replace. The log of 2 is 0 0.301 plus the log of 2, 0 0.301 plus the log of 3, 0 0.477. Let's go and add 1, 1, and 7 will be 9. 
zero zero and seven is seven. Three and three is six and four is ten. Carry one, nothing. One point oh seven nine. So ten to the power of one point oh seven nine will give you twelve. The next problem is asking you to expand. Same thing that we did above, the same process that we did that we expanded from one log into three logs, we're going to expand this log base three. How many components? So the first thing that you need to think is how many components do we have in here? One, two, three, four. Therefore, we are going to have the log of three, log base three, log base three, and the log base three. The first one will be with the nine. The second one will be with the next. The next one will be y to the four, and the last one is z to the second power. Will be with the plus and a plus. because they are multiplying, the z to the second power is dividing, therefore there will be a minus. And the last step is to be able to bring your, your exponents as coefficient. Now we can simplify this, 3 to what exponent is 9? 3 to the second power. Or, if you want people to rewrite the 9, as 3 to the second, that will cancel, so you end up with a 2. Plus the log base 3 of x, plus, we're going to bring our exponent as a coefficient, log base 3 of y, we're going to bring our exponent as a coefficient, minus 2, the log base 3 of z. Now, you want to make sure that you are careful to write down your bases small and underneath, a little lower, and make sure that whenever you write in exponents, you mark them small and a little higher, so we can distinguish between both. And this will be your answer. We expanded from one log into four different logs, and we actually simplified the last, the first one. On problem number four, we are going to do the opposite. We are going to condense. From two logs, we are going to condense it into one. But before we start, we actually before we actually condense it, we want to make sure that we move our coefficients are going to become the exponent. So we have the log base seven of x plus the log base seven of y and to the power of 5. Now since we have the same base on both logs, they're going to combine into 1, and the x and the y to the fifth, both logs are adding, therefore they're going to be multiplying. We have x multiplied by y to the fifth. And of course you don't need to place the little multiplication dot. Problem number five. Problem number five. We need to solve the following equation. Solving an equation, very easy process. We're always going to do the inverse property. So first, we are going to subtract nine on both sides or move the, me, subtract six on both sides or move the six to the right becomes a negative. We have four log base 3 of x, make sure to place a 3 small enough and underneath is equal to 16. I want to get rid of the 4 first. I'm a, it's multiplying. I'm going to divide the opposite multiplication and division. That will cancel. I have the log base 3 of x is equal to 4. And the last step, to get rid of the log, I'm going to place a base on both sides. That cancels. Therefore, x is equal to 3 to the 4th power is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 3 is 9. 
9 times 9 is 81. Problem number 6. Solve the following equation. Let's go and draw the line. You want to be able to limit the log by itself, the natural log in this case. I'm going to move my 17 to the right, becomes a negative 17. Of the natural log of 3x is equal to 3. Now, to get rid of the ln of a natural log, the opposite of the log will be a base. The base for this log is e on both sides. Remember, Whenever you see ln, it's the same thing as the log base e. So whenever you see ln, natural log, is the same thing as the log base e, but we just write it down as ln. Therefore, the opposite of a log is a base. We're going to do base e on both sides. Since they're inverses of each other, we can cancel it. We have 3x is equal to e to the power of 3. This becomes an exponent, so make sure you place a small 3. And the last step will be to divide by 3, divide by 3. That cancels. We have x is equal to e to the third power, divided by 3. And if you want to be able to simplify this, we can just replace that e with 2.7. Or if you want to evaluate, we're going to replace the e by 2.7. So it'll be 2.7 times 2.7 times 2.7. And then we just divide by 3. But for now, we can just leave it as this notation. Problem number 7. Solve the following equation. So we need to be able to solve it. I'm going to go and draw the line. First, I want to leave that 5 to the 3x by itself. I'm going to move my 1 to the right, becomes a negative 1. So that gives me 5 to the power of 3x is equal to 1. Now, I want to get rid of my base. So to get rid of the base, the opposite of a base will be a log. This is a 5. We are going to place log base 5 on the left and log base 5 on the right. Those will cancel out. We have 3x is equal to the log base 5 of 1. Now, every time there's a 1 in here, it's equal to the log base 5 of 1 is equal to 0. Correct. Last step will be to divide by 3. Divide by 3. That cancels. So x is equal to 0 divided by 3 will be 0. Example number 8. I'm going to draw the line. I'm going to get rid of my negative 4. I'm going to move my negative 4 to the right. We can say positive 4. We have e to the power of 4x is equal to positive 2. Now, we're going to get rid of the base. To get rid of the base, same thing that we did above, we're going to do a log. But now, we're going to do a log base e, or instead of log base e, we're going to write down ln, the natural log. The natural log and the base e cancels each other out, the inverses of each other. So now we have the natural log of 2. We divide by 4 on both sides. We have x is equal to the natural log of 2 divided by 4. 